Hello, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to talk about what is a better option to go with FHA or Federal Housing Administration loan or conventional loan, otherwise known as a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan. Before we get started, it's important to point out that every individual household is going to have a different scenario. Rates and fees are all determined these days by your FICO score, your down payment amount, your loan to value, as well as a number of other factors. So it's important that you contact your lender to get a proper rate quote and fee quote on your particular situation and it does change from day to day as well as sometimes multiple times a day. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've got a scenario here and the question often is which is better, FHA or conventional? And let's assume that you have the resources to do both and you're just trying to figure out the numbers, what makes more sense. So let's go ahead in the More Info tab and let's take a look at some basic assumptions. In both cases, the purchase price is the same, $275. The real estate taxes are the same. And the homeowner's insurance are the same. And that's pretty much the only difference, excuse me, the only similarities at that point. And we're going to come back to this in a moment. All right, with FHA, it comes down really to two things. FHA requires a lower down payment of 3.5% versus conventional, which requires a 5% down payment. However, FHA has a lot more flexibility in terms of source of funds. In other words, FHA does allow part or the entire amount of that 3.5% to come from gift funds from a third party. So that gives some flexibility if you are cash flow. But again, for the purposes of this, we're assuming you do have those resources. On a conventional loan, if you are receiving gift money, you still have to prove that you have 5% of your own funds available to invest in the property. Otherwise, the gift amount needs to be a full 20%. All right, so let's take a look at back at the more info. Before, let's just do two more assumptions here. So we're looking at a 4% interest rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage. And that's, again, the only similarities. Let's go back to the more info. All right, so two differences here. FHA has a different structure for mortgage insurance. As you may or may not know, mortgage insurance is required if you're putting less than 20% down. So you can see here, mortgage insurance is 254.32 on FHA, which is significantly more than the conventional of 145.86. Also, let's go to the closing costs. Assuming the closing costs for lender and escrows, etc., cetera, are, are pretty much the same, the big difference here also is the upfront mortgage insurance by FHA versus conventional, which is zero. With an FHA mortgage, the mortgage insurance is broken up, broken up into two components. We saw the monthly, but there's also an upfront fee of 1.75% of the loan amount, and that's actually added to your loan amount. So that's not required as cash upfront, but it does add to your loan amount, which obviously will add to your payment as well. Um, and then also in the bottom line here, you can see that the cash to close really just by a function of a lower down payment is less with FHA. All right, let's go back to the main scenario. So uh, we have here uh, a difference of payment per month of $150.32 for conventional in monthly savings. So the question really comes down to often is, Am I willing to give up $4,125 more down payment to go conventional versus, you know, to save the $150 a month? So let's take a look at a five-year period, which is typically, these days, the amount of time people will stay in a home before they either move or refinance again, is $12,896. So really, the numbers really do work out there in your favor. So that also is represented down here over the five-year period, net savings of 12896 And then here's the monthly differential of 150 per month. And as you can see, over a 15-year period, the principal pay down is very, very similar, a little bit more with FHA. Lastly, with FHA, the mortgage insurance is required to be on there for minimum five years, regardless of the equity you build up, versus conventional, which is required that you have it for at least two years, until you reach 20 to 22 percent and then in both cases after either five years for FHA or when you reach the 20 22 percent equity in your conventional the mortgage insurance does fall off so there we have it 
it looks like assuming you have the same resources to do both, it probably makes more sense fiscally to go with a conventional loan, unless you value liquidity in the short term, it's $4,126 less per uh, upfront and down payment that you get to keep from the get-go for other things. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, we invite you to comment and give us a call. Have a great day.